Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am Shafiq Ahmed from Britain International School System, Physics Department. Lecture number 10, Chapter 16, Basic Electronics. Today we discuss exercise questions. Question number 16.1 Describe the using one single diagram in each case. What happens when a narrow beam of electrons is passed through a uniform electric field, a uniform magnetic field? What do these results indicate about the charge on electron? We can set up electric field by applying a potential difference across two parallel metal plates placed horizontally, separated by some distance when an electron beam passes between the two plates it can be seen that the electrons are deflected towards the positive plate the reason for this is that electrons are attracted by the positive charges and are repelled by the negative charges due to force f is equal to q e where q is the electron charge and e is the electric field due to plates the degree of deflection of electrons from their original direction is proportional to the strength of the electric field applied. Question number 16.2 Deflection of electron by magnetic field. Now we apply the magnetic field at right angle to the beam of electrons by using a horseshoe magnet. We will notice that the spot on the electron beam on the screen is getting deflected from its original direction. Now change the direction of the horseshoe magnet. We will see that spot on the fluorescent screen is getting deflected in opposite direction. Question number 2. Explain cathode ray oscilloscope. Cathode oscilloscope is used to display the magnitude of charging electric currents or potentials. The information is displayed on the screen of cathode ray tube. This screen appears as circular or rectangular window usually with a centimeter graph superimposed on it. For example, the picture tube in our TV set and the display terminal of the most computers are cathode ray tube as shown in diagram it consists on heater cathode accelerating grid and focusing anodes deflecting plate system horizontal deflecting plate system fluorescent screen parts the cathode oscilloscope cro consists of the following components the electron gun with control grid the deflecting plates a fluorescent screen. The first one is electron gun. The electron gun consists of an electron source which is an electrically heated cathode that ejects electron. Electron gun also has an electrode called grid for controlling the flow of electrons in the beam. The grid is connected to a negative potential. The more negative this potential the more electron will be repelled from the grid and hence fewer electrons will reach the anode and the screen. The number of electrons reaching the screen determines the brightness of the screen. Hence, negative potential of the grid can be used as a brightness control. The anode is connected to positive potential and hence is used to accelerate the electrons. The electrons are focused into a fine beam as they pass through the anode. Number two, the deflecting plates. After leaving the electron gun, the electron beam passes between a pair of horizontal plates. A potential difference applied between these plates deflects the beam in vertical plane. This pair of plate 
provide the y-axis or vertical movement of the spot on the screen. A pair of vertical plates provides the x-axis or horizontal movement of the spot on the screen. The fluorescent screen. The screen of the cathode tube consists of a thin layer of phosphor which is material that gives light as a result of bombardment of fast moving electrons. Uses of cathode ray oscilloscope, the CRO is used in many fields of science displaying waveforms, measuring voltage, range finding as in radar, echo sounding to find the depth of seabeds, the CRO is also used to display the heartbeats. Question number three, name some uses of oscilloscope, uses of CRO, CRO used in different fields, some as are following, for displaying the waveforms, for measuring voltage, for range finding as in radar, for echo sounding to find the depth of sea beds. Question number four, considering an oscilloscope, explain how is the filament heated Filament is heated electrically by a battery. Why the filament is heated? To get the beam of electron by the thermionic emission. Why the anode potential is positive with respect to the cathode potential? To accelerate the electron from cathode to anode, the potential of the anode is used as positive. Due to this reason, the electrons are focused into a beam as they pass through the anode. Why a large potential is applied between anode and cathode. High voltage in short time produced an excellent displaying waveform. High voltage supply also heat the filament quickly and increase the rate of thermionic emission. Why the tube is evacuated. Vacuum is created in cathode ray tube. So those electrons can reach easily to the screen. In the presence of air or any other gas, electrons may be scattered or absorbed before reaching the screen. What is electron gun describe the process of thermionic emission? The electron gun consists of an electron source which is electrically heated cathode that ejects the electrons. Electron gun also has an electrode called control grid for, for controlling the flow of electrons. The grid is connected to a negative potential. If the potential is more negative, then the more electrons are emitted from the cathode. Question number 16.6, .6, what do you understand by digital and analog quantities? Analog quantities? whose values may continuously or remain constant are known as analog quantities. For example, temperature, time, pressure, distance are analog quantities. Digital quantities, the quantities whose values vary in non-continuous manner are called digital quantities. For example, the quantities are expressed in the form of digits or numbers. Differentiate between analog electronics and digital electronics. Write down the name of five analog and five digital devices that are commonly used in everyday life. Analog electronics, the branch of electronics consisting of circuits which process the analog quantities is called analog electronics. For example, microphone, radio, TV, the public address system is an analog electronics. In this system, a microphone converts the sound into electrical signal. The branch of electronics which deals with the quantities is called digital electronics. For example, the computer, digital watch and radar system. Write down some benefits of using digital electronics over analog electronics. The major advantage of digital electronics is quality. There is no interference or loss of strength in digital signal traveling in an optical fiber.
digital technology in TV gives excellent view and allow you to be interactive smart ID cards are being developed a single card can be a passport national insurance card and driving license all in one the card could also hold the bio